by the side of the bully. Respectfully though, no character assassination, just straight facts. 22 months, I've gone from zero to eight figures. I'm gonna tell you exactly why. Okay, so in 22 months, she's gone from zero dollars to eight figures, right? So 12 times two is about 24 months. Therefore, in approximately two years, in approximately two years, she's gone on to make $10 million. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. My guy skipped six figures, 100K. He skipped seven figures, $1 million, and went straight for the big cojones of double digit million dollar figures in two years. Now, that is an impressive way to hook us and capture our attention. Tanner has essentially qualified himself, but at the moment, as a viewing audience, we have no way of verifying these income claims. So if you're watching this video, you probably already run ads. You might even already run ads on YouTube and you have a six, maybe even seven figure business. But there's a big difference between that and hitting eight figures. And the reason I was able to get there and why you need to know this is that the old way is what all the coaches and consultants are teaching right now is an ad to a landing page to a webinar. Hello, wake up, wake up, wake up. I know it's hard, but please do not get lost in the good looks and jack physique. Poop can also look like chocolate if given the right packaging. Anyways, in the video, he's told us that the things that we're currently doing to try to make money online aren't as effective as they could be and that he has the answer. Now, while that can work at times, the percentage is extremely low and people are starting to become used to it. It's saturated, it's a red ocean. Everyone just says run an ad to a landing page, to a webinar, sell a high ticket service, and you'll make a ton of money. That's just not really true. And the reason I know that is in my first two years of business, I made a grand total of $2,000 trying to do stuff like that. He said in his first two years of business, he made a total of $2,000 trying these traditional marketing methods. This initial struggle makes him relatable to the viewing audience in the hopes that we too can be as successful as Tanner is. We're about to hear his rags to your story in three, two, one, now. And during that period, I only made a 1.5X return on ad spend for every dollar I spent. And it started to drive me crazy and it was really frustrating. And so what I did and what I figured out is that the new way and the way that got me to start getting over 7X ROI on over six figures of ad spend is what I like to call conversion conversations, okay? And so what I've done is I've created a blueprint that shows you exactly what conversion conversation is. Okay, so conversion conversations is the key to make money online. Okay, got that. But hold on, sir. One moment, please. If you're teaching us your blue ocean strategies, won't these strategies become ineffective the more people become familiar with these methods? The competitive or market competing strategy is about how to occupy red oceans. By contrast, blue ocean or market creating strategy is about how to create and capture unknown markets where demand is created rather than fought over. In some cases, this spawns entirely new industries. But most blue oceans emerge when a company alters the boundaries of an existing industry. Now, I will say there are some, you know, dating business principles that are timeless and fundamental concepts. For example, texting a girl good morning beautiful every morning is gonna make her lose interest in you. It is what it is. That? Oh, it's Mr. MVP! Sim! While some methods are timeless and fundamental, there are other concepts that are effective but very short-lived. So, the question is, which one is Tanner's? And it's a unique method that I've created myself that has taken my business from 1.5x and making $2,500 a month to 7x making over eight figures a year. Wait, hold up, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I remember you saying earlier in the video that... It's just not really true. And the reason I know that is in my first two years of business, I made a grand total of $2,000. And then in the very beginning, the opening of this video, you said 22 months, I've gone from zero to eight figures. So was it really only 22 months to achieve these apparent results? You cannot be for real. Oh my God, you for real. No, you for fake. No, you for real. 
But let's forget about that for a moment and let's move on to bigger and better things. So what I want you to do is go ahead and click the link on your screen, go to the next page, just put in your info and we're gonna send you a free PDF that has my exact method on how to implement this into your business. And I promise you, if you do that, whatever you're doing in your ad spend right now, your ROI will dramatically increase. Hey, yo, Tanner, don't tempt me. I just wanna have to click. That's a very tempting offer. That's a very, very tempting offer. I wanna make money. I wanna support my family. I wanna pay off all my debts, all the debts in my family. I might have to click. It's like, you naughty, naughty. You teasing me, you naughty, naughty. <laughs> Well, I clicked. The offer was just too irresistible. Who doesn't want to make 800K per month? And we get to the landing page, and what do we see? Front and center. From broke server to eight-figure online business in two years. Remember, that timeline is already kind of shaky. But let's look at the bigger picture and objectively look at that eight-figure income claim. Let's break it down. Eight figures is double digit million dollar figures. So let's take the lowest figure, $10 million. 10 million divided by 12. Let's do the math real quick. Got my calculator. <laughs> 10 million divided by 12 is approximately 800K per month. Bruv, brevet, that is no small number to cap about. We scroll down a little further and what do we see? Tanner, Mr. Chister, has well known news corporations on his landing page, such as Forbes and CNBC and Business Insider. So of course, man like me, man's had to, you know, verify and do some digging, given the whole Kylie Jenner billionaire fiasco on Forbes many moons ago. This epic exposure, basically what happened was that Forbes posted an article titled Inside Kylie Jenner's Web of Lies and why she's no longer a billionaire. Interesting, considering they were the magazine just last year who posted an article covering her new youngest self-made billionaire title. Anyway, the article shared on Friday went into detail about Kylie allegedly forging her tax returns just before accusing her of inflating her personal wealth. It also detailed the lengths that the Kylie Jenners went in order to convince people of their wealth, adding that they invited Forbes into their mansions and CPA's offices and even creating tax returns that were likely forged. As for Kylie Cosmetics, the magazine also declared that Kai's Pride and Joy company is quote, significantly smaller and less profitable than the family has spent years leading the cosmetics industry and media outlets to believe. She quickly... So, if you Google Tanner Chidster Forbes, we see the main article, but underneath that article, you have another one by Millie Unz, titled Tanner Chidster Forbes or Fraud? Now we've got some juicy information to dig in, shall we? I'm sitting on a bad boy piece of information. Do you understand? In the article, the writer questions the legitimacy of Tana quote unquote being featured on Forbes and all these other news outlets. He writes, and I quote, what I wonder is how that come about? Did he pay for it? If so, should he have to disclose that? Anyone else think that it's weird that the article reads like an ad for hiring Tanner, even if you're broke and have to run up a credit card to get his mentoring? <laughs> the writer goes on to argue that we should, quote unquote, see a tax return from the last two years, which would definitely help us as potential clients better understand his timeline to success and those income claims that he's had. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> no cap whatsoever, that article Sound like you got bare beef with Tanner still. Hey, yo, Tanner, I don't know who you trampled on your way to success, quote unquote, but you know, you got some enemies out there, no cap. I just wanted to say thanks. I'm glad you came along, partner. Friendly PSA from someone who's personally been in $12,000 in business credit card debt. Never fund any quote unquote business venture or expense with the hopes of potential profit. Rather, bootstrap the business as much as possible so that if you lose money, you would have lost your own money. Rather than not make a profit, but also be thousands of dollars in credit card debt and pay that beautiful 19.99% interest to the bank. It's beautiful. Essentially what I'm saying is you need to use your income from your nine to five job or personal savings to fund the business. And once it has a proven track record of making you income profitably, then you add credit or a loan 
to speed up the effectiveness of that business. Now, you might be wondering, can one pay to be on Forbes? Well, young Padawan, let me show you the ropes real quick, okay? Come over, come over. Are we ready? Now, I recall videos in the past discussing people allegedly buying their way onto Forbes and Yahoo Finance, such as dropshipping guru, Kevin Zhang. Hi, my name is Kevin. I'm the youngest member of the Forbes Business Council. Okay, so first up, let's talk about this Forbes Business Council thing. So if you don't know, this is how a lot of the gurus uh, entice people to trust in them. They'll show them that they're, you know, part of some group or they're associated with someone famous or some group that's really famous. And you'll be like, oh, they're a legitimate guru. I should trust this guy. So that's what Kevin Zhang is doing with this. He's saying, I'm part of the Forbes Business Council. Now, if you don't know what this is, uh, Forbes has a bunch of these different councils. They have the Finance Council, the Real Estate Council, the Nonprofit Council. And basically, all of these are are paid for councils that you can join. So I'll show you the actual page. Uh, this is the Forbes Council page. And all you have to do is click on find out if you qualify, right? And you give out all of your information and then they will contact you uh, if you're a legitimate business person. And there are plenty of other people who have shown that this is a paid for service. So you have to pay to get into this. I think it's $1,200 a year to be in these business councils. So this is just a really shady way. I'm actually really disappointed in Forbes because I read a lot of their articles. Or Maxim Jabitsky another e-commerce dropshipping guru. And on top of all those things, Max Chavisky is paying for media coverage, which is extremely deceiving since he couldn't ethically earn the attention himself and is using Access Wired to get on Yahoo Finance and media sites. It's much to do for fun, but when you're trying to sell courses, you're like deceiving and cheating them into believing that you earn the publicity when in reality you paid for it. And you don't pay, like anyone can get onto here. You just pay like $99. Literally $99, you can go on Fiverr and get it cheaper. Like anyone can do that and he's, He's doing this the wrong way. He never earned that. Which Ooh, and let's not forget the youth, Bia Haza, who experimented with paying Fiverr to get him featured on Forbes and Yahoo Finance. Yahoo News, as well as Yahoo Finance, and we can click both links here. So this does seem to be pretty real. And the whole article is the one I paid somebody else to write. And they wrote the article based on a YouTube video I created talking about my whole entrepreneurship journey. If you want to check that out, link in the description. But that's where they got all this information and whatnot. It's just basically that video put into words. So this is the real finance.yahoo.com website. And this is the real yahoo.com website. And I feel like this is the only one that somewhat worked because if we go on an incognito window here and we search up my name, it doesn't show up as one of the first results. But when you go into the news tab, it is over here from 17 hours ago next to the real market watch uh, article that I was a part of back in September. It's not the Yahoo article that shows up, but it's the Yahoo finance one you can click on it and it is the real deal so everything here was done through fiverr oh you know what's funny google paid to be featured on forbes and you see ads by companies such as imperium pr group who specialize in getting their clients featured in news outlets after one click and a brief look at imperium what do you know they sell a host of article placement packages and if you scroll down further in the initial search results you see an article by The Outline titled How Brands Secretly, or not so secretly now, <laughs> buy their way onto Forbes, Fast Company, and Huffington Post. So people, brands included, can and do pay their way onto these news outlets for positive media coverage. Now, I found no conclusive evidence of Tanner paying for these articles. But I think it'd be pretty easy to show Forbes, CNBC, Business Insider, whatever, reaching out to you and asking to cover a story about you and your company, whatever you're doing. You look, I promise you, yeah. <laughs> if BET emailed me for a feature or to talk about something on their platform, that email is getting framed and posted in my, in my house, okay? I'm not forgetting that email. It's not getting lost anywhere. That email, I have it. So in Tana's defense, he could do a little story time on how these companies reached out to him and wanted him on their platform. Otherwise, it'd likely be that he paid his way onto this site. But wait, but wait, 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 wait. Just as I was about to put in my contact info for the lucrative free training so I too could make $800,000 per month, hopefully, I noticed a pop-up feature at the bottom of the page the pop-up essentially showed other people registering for the free training, therefore creating a sense of FOMO, you know, the fear of missing out. And this pop-up was quote-unquote verified by Provely, 
So obviously you know I have to click. I'm clicking everything nowadays. I'm clicking everything. You click on the feature and you're brought to a website called Provely.io. Now I am aware of people, you know, buying fake engagement, fake comments, fake likes, stuff like that. And even people paying people on Fiverr to give them fake testimonials or product reviews, service reviews, stuff like that. So I was curious, is this legit too? Therefore, I simply searched is Provely.io fake. And what do you know? <laughs> we get an article titled how to spot fake social proof signals. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> shit, that's just too easy. No, no, no. That shit is too easy. It's too easy. No, no, no. That shit is too easy. Fuck you. I'm through. I'm through. I'm through. <laughs> Let's find out, shall we? Let's see the ones that are fake and the ones that are legit. So, you scroll down a little bit further. And one of the categories is social signals. Well, 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 what do we see? The writer says, and I quote, don't trust the likes of let convert, notification X, and of course, <laughs> Provely. <laughs> Provely is there too. That's what I'm talking about. That's why he's there me. That's why he's the GOAT. The GOAT. <laughs> now, this could all be a coincidence. And Tanner could be legit, but my BS radar is making a ton of noise right now. Like all these sources were very independent sources. Like, it wasn't all consolidated in one place. Independent, separate sources of information. The National Weather Service has issued a severe bullshit warning. Doppler radar indicates a line of bullshit heading into our current listening audience. Bullshit detected. Engage bullshit deflectors immediately. Now, at this point, I thought I was done. <laughs> but Tanner, you gotta bring that ass here one more time, one last time for the culture. Many people don't like to read. So I did the honor of doing it for you. You know, good Samaritan like I am. The landing page disclaimer says, and I quote, please understand that sales figures are not typical. And we're not implying that you'll duplicate them. We have the benefit of doing fitness marketing for five plus years. Five plus years. So, in that alone, I'd assume it took Mr. Chester more than two years to achieve these alleged eight figure income claims. Hey, yo, bruv, I'm not just gonna draw you out. I kinda am. But as potential clients, I think it would be important for us to see those tax returns you know like the president gives tax returns i want to see your tax returns too you know you're a business owner taxes are part of the business i'm trying to be a proper businessman like you tanner two words entrepreneurship i mean i was a businessman doing business the bank account you're referring to which is honestly if you're watching or taking advice from an entrepreneur or business owner that hasn't been in operation for at least 10 years I would take it with a grain of salt. Anyone can have a good two or three years of making hundred K or a million dollars, whatever it is, you know? Look at Jeremy Lin during his time with the New York Knicks. Entire world was watching. At the peak of Lin's sanity, it seemed like Jeremy Lin could do no wrong. Lin puts it up, bang! Jeremy Lin from downtown! He was that guy, and- Cam Newton in the NFL with the Carolina Panthers. Cam Newton carried the Panthers to the Super Bowl, but once he got there, he wasn't able to get the win, and it appears that his career took a downturn after that. In 2016, one year after his MVP season, he had the worst passer rating of his career. Then in 2017, that fearless and hardcore way that Cam plays the game finally started to catch up with him on the injury front. He had to surgically repair a torn. And even rapper Freddie Wap, who dominated the early 2000s. Unlike designer, Freddie Wap's breakout hits garnered critical praise. Even better, Fetty's follow-up work lived up to the hype and his huge singles. But just like designer, the New Jersey artist soon found himself creatively stuck. Later, Fetty projects such as RGF Island and For My Fan series found him trying to recreate the magic of his initial run using the same formula. What can someone teach you about business and making money if they not only didn't struggle to initially achieve the $10,000 per month, but also maintain that level of income 
despite a recession, a panoramic, you know, pandemic, or the rise of a competitor who's taken away a market share from them and forcing them to adjust their own processes and procedures. All these obstacles make for a more well-rounded business owner and entrepreneur. That's the person you should be taking advice from. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Huh? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Now, does Tana have any more hidden secrets or questionable marketing tactics? Well, stay tuned. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. But yo, while you're here, watch my past video right here on Batman Kevo who tried to copyright strike me because I debunked his method of making money. Or watch my other video right here on where I detail and explain how I got into $12,000 of credit card debt and ended up couch surfing and doing a couple other humbling things to stay afloat. But as always, if it doesn't feed you, don't water it. And too much of any good thing is good for nothing. How are you lot doing today? Stay with me. I'm doing more, saying less, and keeping that same energy. No cap. Flip the script. I'm out. Deuces. Never give it information. I got yellow hair, but it ain't rainbow. Since you hating on me, go ahead and watch me get everything I ever pray for. Yo. Where I'm from, they love you when you dead. But I'ma need my flowers in advance. Cause I put in the hours for a chance. Shit, I've been through y'all.